contributor here, I think the two people voted for me. Get on. <laughs>
and I have five children. I should be in Maryland. I should be in the District of Columbia. I should be in North Carolina. I should be in New Jersey. I should be in Ohio. I should be in Pennsylvania. Why? Because they have a mandatory renewable energy standard. We don't. And if you're in a business investing hundreds of millions of dollars, you should go to the state that's required by the law to buy the product that you're making. I've come to the only state that they're not required by law to make it. We got to change that, and that's why leadership does matter, folks. So I've been busy since I've been here since the United States. We need more for me when I can post the right things and have a great time. That's all right. Where's Ben and Lowell? Give them a great round of applause. It's your people who stood here. Let me talk about elections for a second. I've been very vocal on this topic. I thought 2010 was a disgrace. And I agree with Tom and Jim and others who talked tonight. We didn't have a message. And this is not blame of any individual, but the whole party, everybody, to think that Barack Obama inherited the worst economy since the Great Depression. He got in, got the economy working again, created jobs, saved the auto industry, business I'm in, saved one and a half million jobs. And in the auto industry, the multiplier from direct to indirect is 10 to 1. So we saved a million and a half indirect jobs to supply chain to make the car, to make the sunroofs, the radios, and all that. Barack Obama saved that industry. Republicans wanted to just get rid of it. He passed the largest middle class tax cut in the history of the United States of America. Now, he didn't do TARP, but he inherited it. And guess what? Citibank is already repaid. And as you know, we've made billions of dollars of profit. We had 40 million Americans with no health insurance in this country, no health coverage at all. He went past that. And the idea that we lost 63 seats, the most since 1948, is a disgrace. Why? Because we weren't out there fighting for our values. And the Republicans defined us. You know what? In 2010, we should have picked up members of the United States House of Representatives. We should have left. This drives me wild. <laughs> They're going to teach us about fiscal responsibility. <laughs> now, let me just give you the facts. When Ronald Reagan became president, the deficit in the United States of America was about $800 million. He left office, it was $2.7 trillion. He increased the deficit and debt of the United States of America 186%. Now, I apologize. I know GE's got these great ads going, and it's, it's his 100th birthday, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he raised taxes 11 times. But to watch these ads, you would never believe that. George Bush came in, the first Bush came in, and increased the deficit in the United States of America, the debt by 68%. George Jr. came in, as Jim talked about, tripled the debt in the United States of America. Gave a tax cut to the top 1%. Passed a prescription drug bill, didn't pay for it. Where was the Tea Party then? That, as you know, cost us $800 billion to a trillion dollars. There's only one president in our country, four balanced budgets, three surpluses, and when he left the office, a $5.6 trillion surplus to the point that the entire debt of the United States of America would have been paid off by 2013. He created 22.7 million new jobs, and folks, he was a Democrat, and his name was Bill Clinton. And you 
borrowed over a billion dollars that you pushed down to the next government. That's not leadership, folks. more members. 
members in the state senate here because we saw what happened. You know, I talked publicly. I, I just don't like a redistricting bill where, yeah, the next day we all get out of bed and say, well, we'll pick up a seat or two in the state senate and we'll lose a couple in the House of Delegates. I just didn't grow up that way. How about women to the House of Delegates? Yeah. Yeah. So, I preach the choir here, folks, that our future is bright and we should be very proud. We won the White House going back to 1992, we won it in 96. As Jim said, we won it in 2000. Hell, we're going to get half a million votes to George Bush. 2004, you had all what happened after 9 11, but we came roaring back. Won 2008, Barack Obama carried the state for the first time in 44 years. Thank you very much.